Okay, we've got a second video on integration by parts. If you haven't seen example 26, go back and I can explain the, the theory behind it. Uh, I just wanted to show you this example here um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it doesn't look like a product of uh, terms in X, and also it kind of highlights the selection process of U and V dash. So we're trying to find the integral of log X divided by X squared with respect to X. Now, unlike the product and quotient rule, where you've got a, a choice to make, we don't have a choice as to whether our terms are multiplying or dividing. For integration by parts, they need to be a product of terms. So the first thing I would do um, in the moving on this uh, solution is actually to see log X over X squared DX. It can be rewritten as the integral of the natural log of x multiplied by x to the power negative 2. So uh, hopefully you know about uh, negative indices. We can rewrite it 1 over x squared as x to the power negative 2. And therefore we have a product of terms and therefore we can use integration by parts. So we're looking to nominate one of the terms as u and one of the terms as v dash. And it's important to realize that it's not always the first one due and the second one's not always v dash. We have to do the test to say, can we differentiate an expression? Can we integrate it? It may be that one term can only be differentiated. And that's the case here because the, the expression the log x, we cannot at the moment um, integrate the function uh, log x. We can differentiate it, but we cannot integrate it. And therefore, when you've got an expression with log x in it, we can never actually say that log x is going to be v dash because we're never going to be able to come up with a value for the function v. So in this case, our hands are tied. It means that we're actually going to definitely use uh, u for log x, which means by a process of elimination, that v dash is going to have to be u. It's so x to the power negative 2, which is interesting because I was just saying try and make the polynomial expression u. Uh, but in this case, we don't have a choice and it works out fine anyway. So uh, sometimes you've just got to go with the information that's there. So let's do this again as we did in the previous example. We're de uh, defining u as log x, which means that the derivative u dash is just 1 over x. And we're defining v dash as x to the power negative 2. So the function v is going to be the integral of x to the power negative 2 with respect to x, which gives us x to the power add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, technically plus c, although we're not going to use it. Simplifying that, that gives you 1 over the negative 1 over x. Okay, so we can use our integration by parts to say that this uv dash integral here, uv dash is equal to u v, the integral of u v dash dx is equal to uv minus the integral of u dash v dx. Okay, remember it, write it in uv minus the integral of u dash v dx. Okay, that's the bit that we're going to actually write down. And take care to make sure that you substitute in carefully. u is log x multiplied by v, which is negative 1 over x minus the integral of u dash, which is 1 over x multiplied by v, which again is negative 1 over x with respect to x. Again, tidy up the first term here. We can't really do much with it. I'm just going to rewrite it the other way around. Negative 1 over x times log x. But more interesting is what's going on in this uh, part here. Uh, we've got two terms still in x, but we can simplify that. And you can choose at the moment whether to deal with this uh, 
negative by taking it out as a common factor of negative one or keep it in. I'm going to take it out and make that basically a, a, oh, a plus sign. So I'm going to uh, say that, that, bring that down. We're going to make that plus the integral of 1 over x squared dx. Okay, so I've taken out a common factor of negative 1 from that uh, integral calculation there. And now, again, if you want to do it at the side, just to be sure, we've got uh, 1 over x squared is x to the power negative 2. We've already done that up above, uh, which gives us x to the power negative 1 divided by negative 1, which is negative 1 over x plus c. Uh, so here we've got negative 1 over x times the log of x plus, what did we work out? Uh, uh, we've got negative 1 over x plus c. Now you could take a common factor uh, here to kind of tidy it up or not. So I'll write it out just as it stands. So that would be an okay answer. Uh, we could take a common factor of negative 1 over x, which would leave me with something like that. And remember, way back, what are these in equal signs equal to? Uh, the original function, the integral of log x over x squared dx. So we've got a bit of room, integral of log x over x squared with respect to x. And there's my solution. So have a go at some of these integration by parts questions. There's a bit more development to come, but that's the basic rule that we're going to use, okay?